what we need to realize is um, when you get uh, a break of structure on any time frame, we expect a retrace, right? It doesn't matter what time frame it is. We expect that. When you get, say, for example, a break of structure, say this, this, this is the hourly, right? An hourly break of structure. But if you think about what's happening in the lower time frames, we have break of structures going here. Okay. Say, for example, if you're following a trade up, following the one minute time frame break of structure, say you enter at this point. You're going to get taken out break even because price, when it breaks the hourly structure, is going to retrace and come back. Okay, that's why we try to look for entry point at the most, um, the you know, the most extreme point. So if you're entering too late, that's why you get taken out of break even. So what happens and how do you deal with the fact that um, if you miss the first entry, what do you do? So say, for example, the first entry at this point, um, let's use the replay tool. Let's go here. So the first entry on this trade, right? Um, sorry, let me find it again. Okay, there it is. So the first entry on this trade, on this, this is the one minute. Okay, so we have this low, then we have this high, and then we have an impulsive move. This impulsive move was created by this OB here, which price reacts to. Okay, say you miss that entry, obviously your next trade will be getting the uh, successful retrace. Price doesn't come to the successful retrace and price continues to break on. OK, now you can follow structure on the one minute time frame, but bear in mind when you break structure, you obviously can get a retrace. Now you can see this fat retrace has happened here. Why did that happen? Because that retrace is from a higher time frame break of structure. So your best bet is if you miss the first entry, if you missed the first entry here or this one, your best bet is to go to the higher time frame above this. Right. So let's go from one minute to five minute, for example, is whatever time frame you're comfortable using. Right. And then go from there and follow the structure break because it will just make more sense. Because now, if you think about it, obviously the five minute structure break was here. Right. We broke the structure. We had this fat retrace. Right. But where is it coming to? It's coming to the OB that caused that break structure. It just makes sense. Why is retraced this far? So if you're following the one minute structure over here, right. And say you're getting a one minute structure point entry here. You're going to get taken out of break even because of this deep retrace that needs to happen because we've just broken that five minute structure. So just bear that in mind. Now, if you miss this one, okay, let's go to the 15 minute time frame. Say if you miss that five minute entry, okay, oh gosh, I went too far, sorry. Okay, say you miss that, you could go to the next time frame. So let's go 15 minute, right? Now, our next structure breaks, obviously first one's going to be this one and then we had a break structure and we missed the first entry. The next entry from here would be the break structure here. So we had this first impulsive move, successful retrace was from here, right? Where did that retrace come from? It came from either, either this one or it came from this liquidity wick that was sitting here. Now with that one, you could do your usual refinements and use whatever time frames you have, for example, whichever one marries up. So it's probably not going to be this one. That's the one that caused the break. So you probably, you're most likely going to use something that's here, right? And let's see what happens. I actually don't know where it reacts to. Okay, it reacts to this one. And then again, you can follow structure on at this point, And then we have another break and then price reacts to this one. Okay. And if it, if you miss that one, your next best, your best bet after this will be following the hourly structure break. So uh, let's see the range was from here to here, right? We've just broken structure. So we should expect a retrace to somewhere here, right? and then we can continue on if you miss the first entries here okay because we want to get entries at the most at the uh, most extreme point because we don't want to be taken out at break even from these fat retracements that happen purely because the higher time frames are starting to break structure so just bear that in mind so if you miss the first entry go up the time frames and then follow price on